it. <laughs> I've been <coughs> excuse me, campaigning for ages to get a hammock installed in the studio, and now I've found <laughs> that there is a very constructive use for it for junior people getting into yoga. We've got a very novel way to help you get those really complex positions down, or at least Tenji is going to show us how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> The practice of yoga is one that's synonymous with a balanced and peaceful lifestyle. However, it's definitely not shy on a good workout. And today I'm exploring a form of yoga that takes the workout to a whole new level, literally from the ground into the air. Sometimes called flying skills, anti-gravity or aerial dance, every class is an hour long. It's done barefoot and a tip is to dress comfortably. Beginners are welcome to try their hand, though an understanding of basic yoga poses is recommended. For people who don't actually know what air yoga is, mm -hmm. what exactly does it entail? It's a combination of, a little bit of a combination of the sort of traditional vinyasa yoga, where you, you're working all parts of your body, but it's a little bit less flowing, and the similarities come in with the mindfulness control of your movements and your breath and the inversions where you hang upside down a lot. And what does a typical class entail? When the students come in initially, we move into our first inversion. It's a little bit more supported in the spine. Then I can get a bit of an idea of the level everybody's at. Air Yoga uses circus hammocks to help students hold the different postures. One aim is to achieve what in Sanskrit is called unata, meaning elevated both in body and in spirit. Every class features inversions so that participants can enjoy spinal decompression. The workout targets the entire body and mind. A challenge is to learn to trust the hammock. It helps to know that each can support up to 970 kilos. So you mentioned it's a little bit different from traditional yoga because of the hammock that we use. How safe is it? It's definitely safe if you are in a controlled environment. I'd say if you're unsupervised, not so much to try it out but in our classes, everything's very slow, controlled, safe, and I talk you through everything. This fun but challenging workout is recommended for ages 13 and above and not advised for people with neck or back injuries, pregnant women, or anyone with heart problems. That has definitely got to be my most enjoyable experience of yoga ever. In one class, I was able to work my breathing, my core, and my upper arm strength. It's definitely the kind of workout I'd recommend for anyone looking to reconnect with their inner child. Enroll with a reputable studio before attempting air yoga and inject some fun into your fitness routine. <laughs>